Hey, I am Halal, and you are watching my channel, Elcon, Pandua. Now, I am going to illustrate, the working process of P10, single color, LED matrix display. I will discuss on, the schematic diagram, as well as, the hardware detailed, of this, DMD matrix. I also made, a P10, LED display, at home. A normal P10 display, is driven by, this type of driver card. Here, I will drive my homemade display, with this driver. So watch this video till the end. This is the schematic diagram of, P10 display. Apart from LEDs, the most important components of these displays, are, 16 shift resistor chips. Normally, these are 74, HC, 5, 9, 5 chips. There are, 4 dual MOSFET chips, to drive, anode currents, of the LEDs. These are 4953 chips. Each chip consists of 2 P-channel MOSFETs. Each MOSFET, drives, 2 rows, of the display. There is a 74HC245, bus driver chip, to buffer, input signals. This is, a 3 to 8, multiplexer chip. The number is, 74HC138. It is used to select particular rows of the matrix. Here, the input hub. And, here is the, output hub. The data bit from the driver card, reaches to the bus driver chip, through the input hub. The output from the bus driver, goes to pin number 14, of the first shift resistor. All 16 shift resistors, are connected with, each other, in cascaded mode. After the data bit, clock pulse is implemented, to all shift resistor chips. After sending 128 data bits, into the shift resistors, the controller, implements strobe signal, which latches, data bits into output buffers, of all 16 shift resistor chips. After data loading, the controller, implements, A and B signals to multiplexer chip, in order to, select rows. After that, output enable signal, is sent to the multiplexer chip, in order to, illuminate, 4 rows. Thereafter, the driver card starts to scan the next field, as before. As it is 1 by 4 scan display, 16 rows, are divided into 4 groups. Each group, is called, a field. First field consists with, row number 1, 5, 9, and 13. The second field consists with, row number 2, 6, 10, and 14. The third one consists with row number 3, 7, 11, and 15. And the last field consists with row number 4, 8, 12, and 16. The data path of the shift resistors looks like this. Look, here is the data loading process. After loading a complete field data, four rows, are lit up, like this. After, a brief moment, the field rows are distinguished. The display scanning process is looked like this. The scanning process is repeated so first, that, the display is looked like this. Here is my homemade display, that I have designed. I have used this portion of the display, from my previous project, and this is the new one. I have adopted, direct soldering method, for my shift resistor ICs. Instead of 74595 chip, here, I used 4094 shift resistor ICs. I eliminated, dual MOSFET chips, with, BC, 558, PNP transistors, along with, BD, 
139 NPN transistors. For the road driving components, I have designed a tiny PCB in my Eagle software. This is the driver card which will drive my P10 matrix. You see, this is a U6A driver card. My power supply unit is a 5 volt, 5 ampere SMPS unit. Let's go to HD 2022 software window, to set up, some necessary data. I changed the data polarity to high, because I implement, 4094 shift resistor, and I connected anodes of the LEDs with the output pins of shift resistors. Here is my programs to test my P10 matrix. After sending it to USB drive, the project became saturated with tasks. Let's check it out. That's all today. If you consider this video to be informative, then please subscribe this channel to inspire me. Thank you for watching.